In this video, we'll try to understand logic OR and logic AND function to operate pneumatic cylinder. The arrangement of the circuit for logic OR control is shown over here. There are two walls, wall V1 and V2. Both these walls, they are push button operated spring offset three way two position direction control wall. And both these walls, they are shown in the right envelope mode where the pressure port P is blocked and therefore there is no action. Both these walls, they are in off position. This is the shuttle wall. This is the flow control wall with integral check wall. So this is the flow control wall with the integral check wall. This is the normally closed position of the check wall. This is the pressure compensated, pressure and temperature compensated flow control wall that we have shown. This is the cylinder side of the single acting cylinder and this is the rod end or rod side of the single acting cylinder and it is spring control. Now when the push button of any of this particular direction control wall is pushed then the operation of the single acting cylinder will take place. So once again try to understand. Either of this particular wall is to be operated, wall V1 or wall V2. So suppose we operate wall V2, suppose we press the push button of this wall so that will be in the left envelope mode. Then from the pressure port, the high pressure compressed air from this port P, it will enter into port 1. From this, it will enter over here and now this port will be open and this port is now closed. Then the air will go from this side it cannot go from this side through this check wall because this is the no free flow condition and therefore the air has to go through this restricted opening of the flow control wall and will be admitted on the cylinder side of the single acting cylinder and then we'll get the operation of this single acting cylinder so as you can see the air is admitted over here and then there will be a compression of the spring while the piston advances. So this is the forward stroke that we have obtained in this particular case. So you can say that either wall V1 or V2 is operated then and only then we will get this particular case. Even though this V1 is not operated we are there is no problem we are getting the operation of the circuit. So operation of either wall V1 or wall V2 is required and therefore this is known as the logic or circuit. Now when wall V1 is operated then the operation will take place in this particular fashion. So V1 or V2 and therefore it is known as logic or circuit. Now we will see the operation of the logic and circuit here also the similar two walls are used but they are used in series as you can see over here so this is again push button operated spring offset three way two position direction control wall which are shown in the right envelope more for the time being and as you can see pressure port p is blocked over here and therefore nothing will happen both these walls they are in the off position now when wall v1 is operated it is in on position and wall v2 is in the AND position that is when the push button of both this wall is operated then we will get the left envelope mode and then and only then we will get the operation of this single acting cylinder and therefore this is known as logic AND circuit. In the previous circuit either of the wall can be operated to operate the single acting cylinder here both these walls are required V1 and V2 they are required to be in the ON position to get the working of this single acting cylinder. So that is shown in the next animation. So as you can see when the push button is operated of both the cylinder then the air will flow and will be admitted and will cause the forward motion of the piston and when it is in the opposition then the retraction will take place and the air from this flow control wall as well as from the non return wall correct it will go to the now it is in the right envelope it will go to the uh, atmosphere. So once again try to understand. when push button of both these walls v1 and v2 is operated then we can say that the air motion from the pressure port it will go to the flow control wall it cannot go from this side because this is no free flow condition and there is a forward motion or forward stroke that is obtained in the single acting cylinder 
and when these are in the off position the return stroke will be due to the spring force it will cause the retraction of the piston and the air from this side through the non return wall and through this port and this port it will go to the atmosphere so in this way logic or and logic and function pneumatic circuit can be explained thank you very much for watching